Hey YouTube, it's Nikki from Our Simple Life. And today I'm going to talk about the seed swap that we have coming up. It was officially supposed to end last night at midnight. However, I do have a couple of people that I will be emailing today that either hasn't touched base with me about sending their seeds or I haven't received their PayPal um, payment in order to cover postage. So since I'm giving them just a little bit of extra time, I'm going to give you the chance to get in on it as well. So this, um, the, the final straw is going to be Sunday at midnight. That way I can start printing uh, mailing envelopes on Monday and um, be on the lookout for everyone's seeds. So if you register um, anytime today or tomorrow before midnight, send your PayPal payment immediately and um, sh and let me know that you're going to be mailing your um, seeds out immediately first thing Monday morning. You still have one last chance to get in. So if you were on the fence about whether or not you should participate, then this is your sign that yes, you do need to get in because we've got some awesome varieties. I am blown away by the creativity of some of these packaging and the generosity. Y'all, I have been so touched by the notes that you guys have sent and extra seeds in order to share. Um, you guys, your heart is, is huge and I am so gracious and appreciative of you um, participating in my seed swap. So I just wanna go, on, um, go into a couple of the varieties that have been sent in so that um, you get excited. Um, I, <laughs> my excitement level is through the roof about planting my garden, seeing all um, the, of the variety of seeds and what all you're going to be growing. I just, y'all I'm beside myself. <laughs> so um, the first one that I wanted to point out, um, y'all these packaging, like, it's so simple, but it is so cute. Um, this this girl, um, Lonnie at Over the Hill Homestead, she did stickers on hers and labeled them. Um, she sent in Amish, Amish snap peas. So um, she did the same thing for everyone. So 25 of our participants are going to be getting Amish snap peas. I've never tried those, so I'm really thrilled about it. Um, let's see. This one didn't label, um, Amber Vincent. Um, she sent in 25 watermelon radishes. She didn't label on here that they were coming from her, so maybe she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she did all 25 the same. But y'all, this has so much information on her packets. She really went above and beyond. Um, from, Miss Margo, she sent everyone green okra. <clears throat> and Janine Russell, she sent pur early purple Vienna kohlrabi from Baker Creek. Um, I have never grown this and this is on my wish list. So I'm, I'm excited that we have so many people that will be trying kohlrabi. And let's see. From Chrissy Keen and Marin um, Keys, not Keen. I'm sorry, I made the typo in her email too. From Marin and Chrissy Keys, um, one of them sent us 25 of the long noodle beans um, that Jess from Roots and Refuge Farms has um, talked about, as well as the triple triple crop tomato. Uh, that's also on my wish list. So, um, so that's exciting. We also have, um, this lady sent in a variety, but I love her inserts. Um, she sent a, a quote that says, the love of gardening is a seed once sown that never dies by Gertrude Jekyll. Um, but she included sugar baby bush watermelon and um, sugar snap peas. I'm excited about that. She also sent some kale and lettuce and Swiss chard. <clears throat> so that's fun. Let's see. We also got several um, basics that 
you need. You need productivity in your garden. And I mean, let's face it, we don't all eat the um, unique varieties. You know, we, we do like the Blue Lake bush beans and um, carrots and kale and um, we eat those. So um, those are also awesome to have. Um, but Leah Hilleman, um, she sent in a variety as well. She sent Imperator, Imperator Carrots, um, Minnesota Midget Cantaloupe, White Icicle Radish, and Red Acre Cabbage. So those are all exciting. <clears throat> and let's see. Lisa Walsh sent in a variety that, um, that looked really interesting. Um, Aunt Molly's Ground Cherries. Lemon squash, loofah gourds, snapdragon apple blossoms, and San Marzano tomatoes. So those are just a few that she sent in that are super exciting. And some fennel. I've never had fennel, but I've heard good things about it, especially if you're dieting. That is great. From... Uh, Fremont 3, Teresa Fremont, she sent in a variety that are super exciting. A few of hers are the Muncher Cucumbers. I grew this this last year and they were so delicious. Um, I thought they had a very good flavor. Some Crookneck Squash and Carbon Tomato, Roma Tomato, Table Queen Acorn Squash. I've never grown winter squash, but I want to this year only because I don't know how to cook it. So if you have suggestions on how to cook um, some of these varieties, please put them down in the comments because I think that's one of my hesitations for not growing some of the unique varieties because I don't know how to cook with it. And, um, and I would love to try your suggestions. So please share that down below. She also sent in some Charleston Gray Watermelon, Pineapple Ground Cherry. I'm thrilled to death about that. Black Seeded Simpson Lettuce. Um, we eat a ton of salads in our household. So all kind of varieties of salad um, and lettuce are delicious and well welcomed here in my house. <clears throat> and from Shelby Cannon. A few of her varieties. She sent in a variety, uh, um, several different variations as well. So a few of hers are magnolia blossom tendril peas, corn salad. I've never had that before, but that is very interesting. Premium late flat, flat Dutch cabbage. I'm actually growing some here under the grow light right here in my dining room. Muncher cucumbers, very delicious. Market more cucumber and lemon cucumber. I'm very excited to try some of those varieties. Let's see. From Conchetta Johnson, she sent in a variety that um, I was really, it really piqued my interest. Um, she sent in Table King, Table Bush King acorn squash. Cubanelle sweet peppers. I want to try those very badly. And then a few that Jess from Roots and Refuge Farms has talked about is the Scarlet Runner beans and the Max Mexican sour gherkin cucumbers. Um, so I do want to try to grow those varieties this year as well too. <coughs> and then from Valerie Sayer. Y'all, I'm sorry if I'm mis mispronouncing your names. Um, I'm just not very good at spelling. But a few of her varieties, Kentucky Wonder Pole Beans. Um, for anyone that eats green beans, which we eat a lot of in our household, those are very tasty beans. They're very good. Um, annual Forget-Me-Nots. Uh, blood Flower. Dragon Tongue Bush Beans. Um, I, I really want to try those as well. Royal Burgundy Bush Beans. Mixed Yellow Sunflower. 
cranberry bean. That's interesting, very interesting. Pinto half runner beans. That's one thing that I wanna try more of this year is more beans in my garden. We do grow, I mean, eat a whole lot of beans, but I don't grow a large variety, so I wanna branch out and try some new varieties this year. Cherokee purple tomato, y'all, that sounds delicious. <clears throat> Moon and stars watermelon. Pom Pom Dahlia, and some Milkweed. Some of these are duplicates, um, which was completely um, great because the variety gets spread around. Um, so those are the seeds that I have received as of right now. And um, of course I will wait until the deadline because it's hard to mix and match these um, until you get all of your packaging in. But um, as a little token for participating in my seed swap, um, I also want to give a couple little bonuses. Now, everyone may not get all of these, but these are just a few of the varieties that I have um, packaged up as a thank you for you guys. So just to go over some of those, um, a birdhouse gourd, um, Scarlet and Andy's Carrots, Red Russian Kale, French Breakfast and Early Scarlet Globe Radish. And then also, um, I included a couple of flower varieties because you want the pollinators to come in your garden. So I, I wanted to also send a couple of flower varieties just so that you have some, um, some special treats for the, the pollinators. So I've got some aster and zinnias, shasta daisies, and marigolds as well. So um, I will um, be getting a couple of um, bonuses and happies in each one of your packaging. Um, I did want to extend the registration for just a little while longer since I'm giving a little extra time to some of these that have not fully completed their registration. So make sure that you email me your mailing address at nstrong3604 at yahoo.com and um, immediately send your $10 PayPal to cover your packaging and postage to that same address and um, let me know that your seeds are going in the mail on Monday. So I thank you all for joining in. If you like this content um, and you wanna see more of it, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can see everything going on in our garden and our hobbies and lifestyle this season. And hit that bell button so that you are notified whenever we do post new videos. So thanks for joining us and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.